Shalom. Welcome back again. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, the parable of the pounds in uh, Luke. Oh, this is uh, Luke 19, verses 11 through 27. I want to read the whole thing and uh, we can get a lesson a lesson out of this parable that Yeshua was was sitting there reciting, was talking about. Okay, we'll, go, we'll begin. And as as they heard the, these things, he added and spoke a parable because he was near to Jerusalem. And because they thought that the kingdom of Yahweh should immediately appear, like, you know, like here within days or months, he said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. So he'd go off to a kingdom, but he's on a return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy until I come or when I return. But his, but his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass that when he he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called upon him, to whom they had given the, to whom he gave the money to, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Gained. That's 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 a word you gotta keep in mind here. Then came the first saying, Master. Thy pound hath gained ten pounds. I gained more. I gained ten pounds for you. Ten, ten more. And he said unto him, Well done, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in the very little. Have thou authority over ten cities? So he worded, rewarded him by sort of giving him ten cities under him. You know, sort of like maybe like a, a governor or something. Uh, and the second second one came saying, Master, thy pound hath gained five pounds. I got you five. And he said likewise to him, you know, he is a good servant. Be thou also over five cities. He gave him five cities. And another came saying, Master, behold, here is thy pound, the one I have kept laid up in a napkin. So this servant, he didn't do nothing with it. He sat there. He took the, took it. He wrapped it up and hid it in a napkin. He hid it away from anybody and everybody. He didn't want nobody stealing it, but he just hid it away. He didn't do nothing at all with it. For I feared thee, because thou art an Austrian guy. Thou takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didn't not sow. And he said unto him, Out of thy own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an Austrian man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest not thou my money unto the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with uh, interest? And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound and give it to him that has ten pounds. The first one. So he took that single pound that uh, the third one, he didn't do nothing with it. So the master took it away and gave it to the one that had the most, gained the most. And they said unto him, Master, you have ten pounds. <laughs> okay, for I say unto you that unto everyone which hath shall be given and from him that hath not, even that he hath, shall be taken away from him. So, just get sink that in your head, that, that part. Sink that deep into your head. For those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So, Reading that and studying it, the parable with the moral, you know, morals of the story and everything, you know, 
That that is probably there's a lot of reasons, but this is one little reason why I decided to get online and start, you know, preaching, preaching from the Bible, not from my traditions, not from anything man-made traditions. I recite recite from the Bible. I'm sure I got I got some opinions here and there about certain things, and I let you know their opinions are my my personal opinions or my thoughts on it. That's all. I don't say it's in scripture or anything, but the thing is, it's kind of like, you know, I, you know, I got a talent, you know, we got, I got a talent. We got a talent, you know, the Holy Spirit gives us this pound, this talent or whatever. And since I've been studying the word, you know, for since the late nineties, you know, 20 some years, you know, I never, I really had a real outlet to preach and share with what I know, you know. May, you know, making making more pounds for, you know, our Savior Yeshua. That's what that's what I what I feel with this, you know, YouTube, internet, and writing and everything. You know, I don't want to wait. I don't want to waste that and, you know, put everything I know in a napkin and hide it away. I want to share it with everybody. And plus, the way I behave and act out in public. If I'm at my job, if I'm out at the store or somewhere in public. You know, I want to represent, you know, the kingdom of Yahweh. You know, I want to, I want people to say, hey, you know, this is a nice guy, a stand-up guy, you know, he's, and not, you know, this is who I am. No pride involved or anything, no evil pride, envy, and, you know, nothing like that. But yeah, this, this uh, parable strikes, strikes a nerve because I don't want to waste, I don't want to waste what I know. I want to share it. I want to, I want to share this with everybody. And that's why I got got this channel going, you know, I just want to share, share, share what's in scripture. And I know each and every day there's somebody being called by Yahweh, you know, somebody's being called and they're looking for some spiritual food, some, some spiritual milk being babies that, you know, they might find this channel and might give them some ideas and help them out a little bit. And that's all I want to do. I want to serve. I want to help, you know, no egos involved or nothing like that. You know, I'm not going to be a millionaire making videos. I'm not a prosperity minister and I wouldn't take money off anybody, you know, because it's hard times and I, I'm just doing this one thing by myself just to help out. But that in Luke, that, that 19, that, uh, it is, it is, it does strike a nerve with me because I don't want to waste my talent, you know, spiritual talent. I want to get the message out there and that's, that's all I really want to do. I just want to help people, you know. And it also makes me give, gives me a feeling of a fulfillment and accomplishment that I'm actually doing something. Because around where I live, you know, there's not a lot of people, really hardly anybody. It's called out. There's church people, you know, your regular Protestants and Catholics, but you know they they're quasi Christians. They don't want to hear the messages. When they hear from the pastor, you know, a couple cuddly little cozy verses you know that suits suits your needs but you know they're not going to have a pastor come up and say you know it's a it's a sin to commit adultery or to steal off somebody or be mean to somebody you know they're fired they have that pastor kicked out of the church fast and you know it if some if they come in and try to tell people what what <clears throat> what wrong they were doing and i'm not like that you know i'm just i'm giving a clear message out you know i'm trying to help people and that's one of many parables. It's probably one of my favorite parables, Yeshua, you know, documented and, and said in the New Testament. And I just wanted, I just wanted to share that with you. I thought it was just important. And I'm just kind of like giving you my mind on it and everything. And, you know, you should, you should check it out and check out his other parables and his sayings, because those are the greatest words of wisdom. And he's trying to, he's trying to, you know, impress and get to the point about, you know, being good to others while honoring Yahweh and loving the love big brother Yeshua and others, you know, that's all it is. So, you know, with that said and done, you know, um, I just want to thank you and please subscribe, hit the like button, notification bell, comment below, share, share this video. And also, Study your scriptures and pray. Pray and study your scriptures. You know, never trust a man, trust scripture. Bible over 
tradition or Bible over tradition. That's all I want to say. Thanks. Shalom. Bless.